All right, hello everyone. Uh, yeah, welcome to the Sunday stream. We made it, guys. We've got a stream going on Sunday. I've actually been reasonably consistent about these. I got so many things scheduled on the other days of the week these days. I can't stream Monday or Tuesday or most of Wednesday now. So yeah, I kind of try to get these. And actually, some Saturdays now too. I was busy last uh, just yesterday. So yeah, I'm trying to stream on Sunday as much as I can these days. Um, I'm kind of a bit foggy mentally right now, just on account of lack of sleep, so we are not going to be uh, doing Shining Force 3 right now. I kind of want to be alert for uh, for uh, plowing forward with more of that. Also, not a lot of viewership on Sundays. I don't know what it is. People busy recuperating for the work week or whatever not a lot of people coming out for Sundays, so we will save shining force 3 for the main streams on the main weekdays and uh yeah we'll continue forward with some azure dreams right here and uh just to kind of mix things up again i said we'd do this every once in a while in a while uh we're actually gonna turn off the uh game music here which is a lovely little option here. I, more, uh, every modern game should definitely do this, and most most uh, games back in the day didn't have this option either, where you can independently uh, turn off the BGM but leave the sound effects on. Really handy, so we're going to turn that off, and uh, yeah, we're going to play the good old VG Jazz playlist in the background here. Because what better to go with a sleepy Sunday stream than uh, some nice relaxing jazz that's going to make me even more drowsy. Uh, so yeah, we just about got our save file filled up here. Probably, like, I'd say probably four or five more tower runs at this point. Frankly, we could just die, just duck in and out of the tower about five or six times and that would be enough. But uh, that would be cheating. We want to do proper runs. And, uh, yeah, actually be all try-hardy and stuff. You know, maybe I should make that a goal. I should try to... I should try extra hard to get another full clear before we fill up the save file. Oh, I, I did buy that thing. Apparently you need an even larger room. Like, is this not a large room over here? How much larger of a room do you actually need? Is there an elephant inside that egg? Because honestly, you could fit an elephant in here. Anyways, do I have my herb and my copper? Yes, I do. Huh. <sighs> so yeah, we're just gonna head into the tower. Is there anything we can spend my money on? Doesn't even matter. We'll have more money when we come out after this. Buy something even bigger. <laughs> For some I don't know what it is. The 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 music I've chosen here actually seems to go with this game even less well than the freaking Vaporwave Future Funk playlist I was playing last time. That's fine. Uh, I was hoping for a level up there. Not at all confident that we're gonna be able to... Oh shit, I'm even less confident about this troll here. Uh, what do we do? I'm going to fight this guy, and then hopefully that'll get us a level up to deal with the troll. Nope. Um, okay, we're going to see if there's any elevation over here. There is not. So I think we're just going to eat this and, uh, yeah, just face him down. Also, I guess, nah, we'll save the fruit for when we're fighting a bunch of enemies all at once.
Oh, hey, we actually skipped a level. Okay. I don't think I've ever seen that happen before. Or at least not on the current save file. I'm, I'm sure I've seen it happen before in all the years I've been playing this game. Take a level 1 monster up to floor 25 and kill something, and you'll see a lot of level ups all at once. Haven't done that yet on this save file, though. I'm just gonna fight him. We're gonna be lazy this run. Oh, hey, I almost missed this. It was camouflaged in the bushes there. That is not an upgrade. Man, of all the frickin' swords to find on floor one, we get the one that actually doesn't help us at all. Oh. Oh, hey, there's a thing. Ooh, that's a good thing. Actually, I remember why I remember why I decided not to use this music, uh, this playlist last time I uh, played this game with music. Uh, it's yeah, this always makes me uh, think of Tales of Majael whenever I hear this type of uh, hear this music because uh, this is the playlist I was using all the time back when we were playing that game. It's been a good long while. Since we played some Tales of Majael, I'm gonna have to return to that someday. Okay, reasonable haul off floor one. No shields yet. Shields are kind of tricky business. The earlier you get them, the better. And then by the time you get to the upper floors, you get two-shotted by every monster anyways, no matter what you have equipped. You don't even- you actually don't even need to level up on floor one to, uh, ensure that you can beat Gosh. I mean, you need to- ooh, Wind Crystal, that's a rare drop from him. Uh, but yeah, you, uh, I guess technically he'll one-shot you if you're at level one when you fight him, but, uh, yeah, what you can actually do is, uh, if he's too powerful, you, you just run away from him until your health refills and then hit him again and just keep doing that till he dies. Pretty sure that he doesn't get his health back if you just run away. Music's still a bit loud here. Ah, uh, hey. Now seems like a good time for that limit fruit. What a crit! Or I guess I got that steel sword helping us out a fair bit. Am I still angry? He's still angry. That thing actually lasts a while. I think I've been undervaluing these uh, limit fruits this whole time. Or maybe we're just lucky. Oh, I think it wore off. Nope. Man, he's just like really pissed off. I guess about the fact that he doesn't have a shield yet. Crit rate seems to be about 50% when you uh, have that active. Hey, Saturn Meteor. Okay. I'm not really a part of 
the scientific... I, I'm not a member of any scientific communities, nor any feminist communities, so none of that really is of any uh, consequence to me, really. Honestly, I don't even... <laughs> I get, I get so annoyed by uh, just seeing people freak out about stuff like that. I have actually have muted on Twitter and uh, Facebook pretty much everyone who uh, posts that kind of stuff online. Just like uh, discussions to it, links to stupid articles and things. It's just like a sickness too. The people, the people who post that kind of stuff... Uh, and just get involved in these types of arguments, seem to do nothing but that. It's like my few friends on uh, Twitter and Facebook who are way into those kinds of, like, uh, political politics and social justice debates and stuff. They just do nothing else all day. All day. It's insane. It's just you're inundated with that crap, and I just can't... It's like, that's not why I want to go on Twitter. I don't want to go on Twitter... Or Twitch, for that matter, to read about that kind of nonsense. In fact, most of most of the accounts uh, that I pay attention to on Twitter nowadays are just uh, artwork, basically. Uh, just yeah, fan art and uh, lewd drawings of anime women's. Wow, this is actually all garbage. This was a really exciting room for a minute. And then it turned out that, yeah, like half the stuff in here is just worthless. Well, we got a wood shield at least. Oh, that's a pretty solid floor too, I think. We got, you know... Actually, we didn't really get much. We got a holy scroll, and that's basically it. Oh yeah, I guess I'm gonna use the blue sand. One defense is gonna be more helpful earlier rather than later. Oh, you know what? Um, do I not have my playlist set to shuffle? Oh, it is shuffling. It's just a weird coincidence that it's only playing the ones up near the top of the list. It's been a while since I updated this. I need to go in search of more video game jazz. <laughs> Maybe open up a suggestion box for that too. Send me your only your only <laughs> I require only your strongest video game jazz arrangements. I kind of missed the level up fanfare. I wish that it would keep the level up fanfare for you when you uh, turn off the background music. Game's dropping a lot of copper coins on us, at least. Getting rich off of these copper coins. Good grief. Oh, is that how it works? Yeah. Yeah, I, f I figured that there wouldn't really be that there would be some initial hype around uh, getting affiliate and all that. Uh, this is garbage. Um, what do we do? <laughs> oh, I could have just used that trap loop to, uh... I think I'm stuck in a corner here. Let's just smack him with the sword. He wasn't over there. I think that's a cyclone. And a blaze, yeah. I am about to die. Oh, there's high ground over there. Also, it turns out I wasn't in a corner. I could have just uh, kept on running away. But yeah, I figured there would be initial hype around the whole getting of affiliate status and everything, and that most people 
uh, wouldn't renew their subs afterwards. Hell, I think more than half of them were gift subs anyways, so, yeah. Yeah, I think we're gonna see a lot less, uh... Uh, Jasu Bachu around here lately, sadly. That being the, yeah, name of the sub emote. Moonwalking to go there. I literally don't know what you mean. Like you'll be walking backwards because... I don't know. Because your gait is all messed up and that's why you need to see the doctor. <laughs> um, I think now's a perfect time for a Mahel Seed. I think it's actually worth it to tank the hit from this guy to take the high ground. Okay. As far as I understand it, though, moonwalking doesn't uh, make you go any slower if you're good at it. Like, yeah, you could just be moonwalking over there at normal speed. It doesn't necessarily mean that you're reluctant. If anything, you're, you're doing it all stylish-like, as if you're excited or something, which would just be weird. Who gets excited to go see the doctor? You know what? I, I think moonwalking is just, uh, yeah, actually kind of a an expression of hype and excitement in uh, North America. I can't remember what it was. There was some political controversy in the United States lately, and some, I can't remember the context, but some reporter asked some United States politician if he was going to bust out a moonwalk. And he kind of goes like he's almost about to do it, and then his wife kind of holds him back and is like, no, dear, this is not an appropriate time, because this guy was in, like, trouble for something, I think. Some kind of situation like that. The moral of the story is that, uh, yeah, moonwalking means happy times, and you shouldn't do it. Oh, you know what? I, I remember this. I remember the controversy now. I don't want to talk about that situation anymore. <laughs> Especially not on a Sunday stream, where I'm all exhausted and tired and prone to say stupid things, as if we hadn't been doing that already. Yeah, unfortunately I can't remember the dude anymore. Oh, for fuck's sake. Ah, uh, this is actually fine. I'm gonna... Fireball this guy. Getting a lot of levels for uh, just being so low on the floor here. Oh, this doesn't math out. Uh, yeah, he's not gonna go into the ditch there. Here we go. Hmm. I mean, actually, that's a common misconception in uh, 
just, yeah, regular English too. Like a lot of people think of moonwalking as just being walking backwards. But there, there's a bit more to the moonwalk than that though. It's actually kind of like a stylized backwards walk. Like it's, it, you do it like, you kind of glide along the floor all smooth like. Apparently it's actually really hard to learn how to do a proper moonwalk. I remember I, I, I tried to learn to do it properly a while back and I just didn't have the coordination for it. There is a, there's a, there was a tutorial video on YouTube I remember I saw on how to moonwalk properly and I could not, I just couldn't get a handle on it. We're done with this floor too. Managed to hit all of the rooms and avoid oy, most of the hallways. You know, the elevation system in this game is actually kind of unique. I can't think of another roguelike or mystery dungeon game out there where, ele where high ground plays any sort of important role in combat. It's actually one of the most uh, sort of tactical decisions you can make in this game. It's like, do I fight this guy here and uh, tank that little bit of extra damage for it? Or do I back off and look for the high ground and risk uh, running into another enemy? That's honestly like the one decision you make over and over again in this game. Especially in this type of hardcore run where you're uh, really weak and without your familiar and... Uh, yeah, that high ground makes a big difference. Oh yeah, I've, I've seen Shadow Tactics, yeah. That one's been out for a, a couple years now, I think. Or maybe a year and a half. It's been out for a long time. Yeah, I'm definitely interested in it. I just, uh... I've got so many other games these days. Oh, this balloon, for example. Would be really nice to have high ground for. Hey, there we go. I found a high ground trap. Oh shit, could he not attack me from there? Yeah, it looks really good. I actually really liked, uh, I think it was Desperados 2 I played back in the day. Or maybe I played them both, I don't quite remember. They're, Desperados 1 and 2 are very similar games. Which, which, and it's, anyways, it's basically the predecessor to Shadow Tactics. It is the same type of game. Where it's like a real-time... It's not real-time strategy, because there's no base building. It's like real-time tactics. But it's honestly also more puzzle-solving. In fact, I think there's a lot of similarities just in terms of the level design and just the overall flow of the game between, uh, yeah, Commandos and Desperados and Shadow Tactics. Uh, those types of games. And the Hitman games. Uh, Hitman has a very sort of similar sort of thing, where it's supposedly like a third-person shooter, but there's intricacies, intricacies to the levels where you got like a sort of your tool set at your disposal and you're trying to figure out how to, uh, trying to figure out how to maneuver your way through the levels and solve the shit in a clever way. Yeah, obviously the similarities end there, because, you know, Hitman is a third-person shooter, and, uh, yeah, Shadow Tactics is a overhead perspective, yeah, real-time strategy game. But, yeah, the way those games uh, kind of uh, approach their level design, where it's, like, kind of, uh, you have to take a puzzle-solving approach to things is kind of the same. Uh, 
Man, those bomb traps really do a number. I think it's set to do a percentage of your uh, total health and damage, because it seems like no matter how far I get into the dungeon, bomb traps are just always bad news. Although, honestly, it could also just be a fixed 20 damage. You never really gain a ton of HP in this game, so 20 damage is pretty significant. Oh, Jesus. What? <laughs> what is this mess? Okay, what do we do about this? We probably use our holy scroll here. Um, I haven't seen enough of Sekiro to say whether it uses and abuses gigantism, whatever that means. But yeah, I've been deliberately avoiding uh, Sekiro footage or spoilers or anything like that. Ah, I was hoping that would make him turn around. Um, we're actually going to use the Holy Scroll here, I think. Oh, you know what I can do? Uh, we can Holy Scroll this dude. That'll let us swap places with him. Then he takes the fall instead of me. We, we wait for him to die. Is he is that dude allowed to stand there? He went inside the holy symbol. That's against the law. Oh, fuck. Okay, but then I got my holy symbol to retreat to. What was that? That was like eight enemies in like a minute. Um, I think I just want to get the fuck out of here. Uh, there could be more rooms over there, though. One of the things I think I'm still bad about in this game is uh, paying attention to the map layout and kind of dis making decisions about uh, which corridors are worth exploring and which ones aren't. If you pay attention to where the rooms are located, you can kind of predict like, okay, this hallway is just going to take me to a room I've been before. I mostly just kind of blindly wander until everything's filled in. How are there still enemies on this floor? I've killed like 30 enemies so far. I mean, I know they spawn in endlessly, but they can only... They should only spawn in so, so quickly. Like, that's usually the way this game is balanced, yeah? It's like you kill a bunch of enemies and then you get a little bit of a breather. Well, they spawn in more. Uh, I bet you that. I bet you that's the guy who just teleported away. Nope. Banished and Dawn of Man. I might if I saw them. Banished is such a generic title that I might well have seen it before and just forgotten what it is. Dawn of Man, I don't think I know that one. Okay, so you're like a outcast or something? Fuck's sake! 
Okay. I'm living on the edge here. Oh, hey, what do you know? I finally got my reprieve. I don't know if I'm wasting too much time with enemies and kind of accidentally farming up here, or if, uh... I think it's just that we're getting massive early floors and just, uh... getting lost and being forced into a bunch of enemy encounters. Ah! Ah, the bugger. Well, this live shield should help a little bit at least. Actually, I'm gonna use these trap loop or this trap loop before I forget about it. I'm not really into the whole like survival simulator type games. Yeah, I don't know. Just from that, it doesn't sound like the kind of game I'd be interested in. So, yeah, that would be so handy to have uh, skills to apply to get people to just, uh, yeah, gift you games in exchange for stuff. Or just, just have friends for that sort of thing, for that matter. Hollow Knight's a really good one, too. Fifty percent, holy shit! And you know, Hollow, uh, if I remember right, Hollow Knight's not that expensive in the first place. What is it like, fifteen dollars regular? Yeah, fifty percent off of that just seems insane. Or I guess it might be more expensive on PS4. I don't know how console downloadable games are priced in general. I remember uh, PlayStation stuff in the PlayStation Store being really expensive back when I played on... back when I would download games on PS3. That was the world's longest hallway. Uh... What do you mean, guest stars? Because Echo the Dolphin is a Sega property. Like, they could put Echo the Dolphin in uh, Sonic Racing if they want to. They own Echo. As far as I know, I could have that wrong. Honestly, I don't think I would miss the guest characters at all. I don't think I liked any of them from uh, Sonic Racing Transformed. Yeah, I'm trying to think. Who are the guest characters? Those are th those are all. S okay, I see the confusion here. Um, or actually, I guess I don't know. I guess I'd have to read what they mean by guest characters. When you said guest characters, I assume you meant non-Sega characters, because Sonic and uh, Sonic Racing Transformed had a bunch of characters that were like guest stars from other franchises or fr from other. Companies like there was uh, Wreck It Ralph and uh, Team Fortress, and uh, I forget who else. There were a couple other ones. There was Football Manager. Actually, I think Football Manager is technically a Sega property. But yeah, I had assumed 
that it meant that they would uh, take away the guests from other companies. If they're taking away all like non-Sonic characters, then yes, that is very sad. Shit, that, that, that would be terrible if that's the case. No, Danica Patrick, that was another shitty one. Uh, shitty guest character that I wouldn't care if they got rid of. But yeah, like, to get rid of Shinobi and uh, Burning Rangers, and no, they can't do that. They've got to mean, uh... Yeah, there's no way that they're getting rid of all the non-Sonic characters. It's got to be just the, uh... Just the non-Sega franchises. The samurai is uh, Shinobi. Is the Shinobi from Shinobi? I think is, what's his name? Joe Musashi. Yeah. Oh fucking Yogg's cast was a racer. I didn't even know that. Yeah, definitely wouldn't give a shit of that about that. And yeah, obviously Shinobi is a Sega franchise too, so. There's no reason that sh that uh, Joe Musashi couldn't make a comeback. The green, the Dreamcast in general uh, wasn't really very popular. Although a lot, weirdly enough, though, a lot of Dreamcast games have been released on PC now. Like you can get uh, Crazy Taxi and uh, Space Channel, uh, Sonic Adventure. Pretty much all, pretty much all the major. Uh, Dreamcast releases. You know what? I really don't want to lose my level here, so we're just gonna do it like this. But yeah, the Echo game on Dreamcast has not gotten any kind of re-release -re as far as I know. Oh, you know what? Pudding was my favorite racer, too. Not like... Uh, she's certainly not my favorite character, just as a character, but in terms of racing stats, uh, she... Matched my play style the best, I think. Holy fuck, we can't stay here. This is U-boat country. <laughs> oh no, that's a seal trap over there, not a U-boat. I think I'm actually gonna fight this guy. We're reasonably... Powerful right now. Yeah, we didn't lose too much off of that, although I wouldn't want to fight another one right away. <laughs> so, of course, what happens? Uh, oh, what's her name from uh, Jet Set Radio? She was another one of my favorite characters. Stat wise and character wise, she was really cool looking. Gum. Gum was my other favorite character from the Sega racing games. I'm actually really looking forward to uh, the new Sonic Racing. Oh, it's been a while since we've seen one of these. Yeah, these must be super rare. These types of floors. I think we've seen, what, we've done 26 tower runs now, and we've seen this happen maybe twice. Yeah. <coughs> I'm sorry to do that to you. I meant for that to be like a funny noise, but it came out a lot more horrible than I intended. <laughs> hey there, Charmander. Uh, okay. The, the fun thing about this is you can see exactly how uh, rapidly the enemies are spawning in. Oh boy, uh, these are not the enemies I was hoping to see here, and now that happened. Uh, so we're gonna do this now, just so that he doesn't do that again. Okay, so now we're level 10. Can we take two U-boats? Now that we're level 10, do I have anything that's gonna help me with this? I would rather not waste the Olim fruit right away, but I think that's what we're gonna have to do. Okay, I've got a plan here. Oof, it didn't, didn't involve getting freaking. Oh, and of course he sinks back down. Uh, this is really bad now. Really, really bad. If I get slept by that guy, 
We're fucked. You know what I'm probably gonna do? Oh, I can't afford to take two hits from these guys, though. Acid Rain. We're not gonna book it. There's still goodies to get on this floor. Oh, you know what? Uh, this guy's stuffed now. Uh, he can't get out of there. That was a bit risky because of the dream in there, but yeah, now we can go this way. I don't know what we're looking for. I guess I just like hope I fall on top of a really good item over here. This could be, this could save us. Uh, leave a fruit. I don't think that's going to save us. Probably going to use Acid Rain here, sadly. Are we tough enough to survive? Probably. Oh yeah, we're fine. <gasps> oh yeah, I didn't, I forgot about that. Kind of ridiculous how we we technically over level those guys so much they don't that they don't give us anything as far as XP goes. Yet we still can't fight them all, even with our massive level advantage. Okay, let's get the goodies. What did we just throw away our acid rain ball charge for? Uh, wood shield plus one isn't worth anything. Fuck's sake, where did he come from? Actually, a good one. Uh, that one sucks. Yeah, we're probably not going to find anything better than a live shield. That's it. None of that, I don't think, was worth an acid rain ball charge. Yeah, given the choice between throwing all of that stuff away and getting my acid rain back, I would I would take the acid rain. Uh, you know what? I don't want to mess with that guy, so we're just gonna bugger on out of here. So yeah, we don't really have any objectives here in the tower anymore, other than mainly just hitting floor forty again for bragging rights. But the one productive thing we can do here is uh, just amass an inventory full of high-value items and uh, sell them. Basically, we just need to make a bunch of money to build all the buildings, buy all the furniture. We have not found a single egg yet. Floor 10 already, and not one egg. I don't think I ditched any of the floors early, either. We checked out every inch of every floor, and no egg was found. Ooh, steel shield. You know, I think I might actually value the plus one defense over the retaliation here. Ooh, these guys are tanky. Maybe I want that retaliation after all. Oh wait, he's not getting retaliated on because uh, of the range on his crossbow. 
Oh, also, yeah, let's... Speaking of crossbow, yeah, let's not get in the line of sight of that guy. Oh, there we go. Got our acid rain back after all. Might actually need it right away here. This this floor is just packed with trolls. It's like if it's like if someone turned Twitch into a dungeon. This is what it would be. Just troll infested on every layer. Um, it, oh, hey, we can, we can increase the level. Might as well, because, uh... Yeah, volcanoes aren't... are a pain in the ass, even at the best of times. What is this? Uh, okay. We're actually gonna use the reliable fireball on this one. Yeah, Petless is for chumps. You are never gonna be able to beat any monster without a familiar at hand. We, honestly, I think we just want to avoid... Ugh. Yeah, I've heard of Baba Is You. That's kind of, kind of a... Yeah, internet sensation these days. In fact, it, it almost feels like Baba Is You is uh, old news at this point. There were a bunch of articles about it. And uh, yeah, a bunch of uh, Twitch streamers I follow playing it back when it came out. And everyone seems to have moved on to the next big thing already. Which I guess was Sekiro, so that explains that. But yeah, I've got Baba Is You on my uh, Steam wish list for sure. Maybe we just uh, run in different internet circles then. Yeah, I know several streamers that I follow were uh, playing Baba Is You back when that first came out. And I remember, yeah, seeing discussion of it on Reddit, articles on various sites. Buffer Party? Oh yeah, I did get some dropped frames there. That's, uh, disturbing. Man, I hope we don't have to go back to streaming at 540p. The VODs look so much nicer now that I've switched back to 720. Is the Repel Ball even worth that much money? Whatever. Keeping it anyways. We don't need a backup wind crystal. We'll be lucky to get to the picket floors as it is. Uh, is there a space for a room between those rooms? No. Although actually that's where the exit is anyways. So before we move on up, I'm going to get to work on hatching this egg. Floor 10 is around the time where it's really helpful to have an egg. Like if you take your time exploring the floors, fight a fair amount of monsters along the way, you'll level up. You'll level up enough to sort of barely fight your way 
past any monsters you may encounter until you get to around floor 10 or so. Then, yeah, just fighting every monster you see is just a, a very rapidly losing strategy. Fuck's sake. Oops, didn't mean to do that. If I get slept here, we could go down. I think I might just want to acid rain here. You know what I can do is I can... Oh, yeah, that's right. They can do that. Uh, yeah, we're going to acid rain here. Uh, we're in a lot of trouble here. In fact, I could go down to a uh, explosion trap, potentially. So we're just going to eat this. Oh, have you not been... Uh... <laughs> so, yeah, are, you, are you new to the Azure Dreams community, then? There's, there's been a lot of people uh, playing this game on Twitch lately. Uh, they do speedruns. There's actually a speedrunning tournament uh, going on these days. Yeah if, if, yeah, if you follow the uh, yeah Azure Dreams category on Twitch, lots of people uh, playing this game. It was also one of my favorites as a kid, too. Yeah, I was surprised myself. It's been about a... A little over a year since the last time I uh, picked this game up. And I was surprised that, like, yeah, all of a sudden I started streaming the game. This time it's like, oh, hi, I play this game on Twitch too. Oh, hi, I play this game on Twitch too. And it seemed like every time I'd load this game up this month, it would be like, oh, I encounter another person who streams Azure Dreams. Yeah, there's actually a community. They've got, they've got a Discord and everything. Um, I don't have the link handy. I'm not much of a Discord user myself, but yeah. Uh, if you follow a Twitch streamer named Sand Knight, I believe it's Sand underscore Knight. Knight with a K. Uh, he's, he's kind of like the ringleader of this whole, uh, yeah, Azure Dreams Twitch play and community. He probably has, uh, Link to the Discord on his uh, Twitch play Twitch page. Ooh, Fire Crystal. That's not very good, but I'll take it. Um, that was a surprisingly quick floor. Oh, you know what we're gonna do? First of all, we got high ground here, so we can just kind of camp that out. And secondly. I am going to hatch this egg. I'm going to hatch this egg, even if it literally kills me. Oh, so incidentally, if anyone's aghast at the fact that I'm doing this... Let me explain the stipulations of the challenge here. It's pretty much there in the stream title. I am uh, doing tower runs without using the vault at all, so no carryovers between runs, and I am not using the monster hut. So uh, we're going in with nothing but uh, copper sword and a medicinal herb every run, which we purchase in town. Now, are we close to a level up? Not remotely, so let's just hatch this bitch. It's like one of them, what do you call them? The Japanese capsule machines. It's a Kraken type Kraken. That's my favorite type of Kraken. Weirdly, yeah, Kraken is one of the rare, one of the very, very few monsters in this game that's actually the same color as his wild form when you hatch him. Most monsters turn some bizarre cotton candy colors when you get them as pets, but Kraken looks pretty much the same as he does out in the wild. He's a water familiar too, that'll be really great. Uh, for 
uh, like the next one or two floors, I guess, and then we'll start seeing water monsters and it won't matter. Uh, he doesn't have magic, does he? He actually hits pretty hard. It's tough to quickly evaluate the power of monsters because most monsters just suck as soon as as soon as you hatch them as you newly hatch them from level one. Almost every monster in the game uh, sort of takes a, a lot of level ups uh, before it uh, sort of reveals its true strength. Often you gotta fuse them as well to unlock any other benefits, any unique skills they might have. That's the uh, that's part of the benefit of uh, this type of run where you're actually incentivized to hatch monsters in the tower. A monster hatched in the tower hatches at the same level you are. So yeah, he's like, yeah, level 13 right away. Don't have to spend all the time of leveling him up straight from level one. We can just see what his value is right from the beginning. And he's actually not that bad, it turns out. I had tried using Krakens before in the past. Uh, that water ball is not going to be good for anything. We got a lot of valuable shit right here. Honestly, I think we just want to dive here. We can't even hold any more good stuff in our inventory. Yeah, there's no sense wandering the floors here. Even if we do find anything, we won't have room for it. Uh, let's just... Let's just dive. I keep calling it diving, even though you're actually going up the dungeon floors in this game, not down. Oh, right. Uh, maybe let's crack. Let's let Kraken take care of this. Actually, no. Let's divide the damage. Man, look at how much better he is than us. He's doing so much damage. Ah, this is just kind of annoying. There we go. Man, you'd think there were Minovas on this floor, with all these doubled-up items. Ah, uh, that thing is actually pretty good to have. Do I value a medicinal herb more than any of this stuff? Not really. I'm gonna ditch the gold sword. We are, do we are in such a good position right now. Whoops. Uh, I'm just gonna give that to my buddy here. We're in such a good position right now. I'm actually going to go all in right now and uh, see if we can't take this one all the way to the top. Uh, yeah, the problem here is we're going to want to uh, avoid all the wind monsters now. Garud is a pretty nasty one. If he abducts my... Uh, my crack in here. Then that's probably the end of him. Uh, this is Vampire Killer from the Castlevania series. Oh, hey, we actually found a good item that doesn't take up uh, inventory space. I'll take that. Um, I'm not gonna... Ooh, fuck. Uh, what do we do? Oh, shit. I forgot to change his AI. Okay. Starting a train right here. Oh, no! Don't wake up. Don't wake up. Excellent. Think we're gonna be alright here. 
Oh, it looks like that's happening on my end, too. This is so frustrating when it happens. I'm not sure that there's actually anything I can really do about it, either. I'll keep an eye on it, and if it, uh, consistent- It just- that number just keeps on going up! We're dead! We're dead in the fucking water! Zero kilobytes. Well, that's a thing. Nope, oh, there it goes back up again, there it goes back down again. Oh, for fuck's sake. It says I'm disconnected from Twitch chat. I mean, I, it's, the, the reason the refresh fixed it for you is because my internet's back up now. I was getting zero kilobits per second for, uh, like a good ten seconds there. Ugh, it's, st it's stabilized now, but if that happens again, then I am going to reset my internet connection. So frustrating when this happens. It's so rare that we actually get that I actually am conscious enough <laughs> to uh, get a Sunday stream in. This keeps happening. There we go. Man, the life of a Twitch streamer. So now not only. It's like, not only do you have to play the game and keep track of chat and stuff, now I gotta keep tra track of my damn bitrate. Uh, this is not great, what's going on right here. Oh, and of course I still got him on follow mode. Uh, you know what, let's just fight him. Oh. Ah, uh, he put- he, <laughs> he jumped in the hole like a dumbass. Oh, you know what? We got fireballs for days. We don't even need to- This is an excellent setup right here, actually. We got the Water Familiar to take care of fire monsters, we got Fire Balls to take care of wind monsters, and then, uh, yeah, we're pretty much solid until we start seeing strong water monsters, which isn't until, like, the mid-twenties. I'm actually gonna lure him over here, just because these guys are so easy to, uh, to deal with. space for this. Um, I guess we'll just use the treasure loop for now. It's probably the most, the least useful one for us at the moment. Because, yeah, like I said, we're full on inventory space anyways. The odds of us finding anything really, really good are quite low. Ooh, that's a good one. I want to know uh, how many charges I got left in my balls. Oh wow, we still got fire charges left. Unbelievable. Monster loop is actually kind of a good one. Especially on the upper floors. We may, we may want to dump something for that. Uh, Repel Ball isn't very useful. 
Yeah, like I said, oh yeah, the gold sword, that's right. We're not going for money anymore. Uh, we're going for tower progress. So yeah, I'm gonna ditch everything that doesn't help us move on up. Man, they're just dumping all the goodies on us here. Good lord. Treasure loop is actually pretty good, uh, just on account of... It's, it's essentially like a half map. It lets you know where the rooms are, but not really the locations of anything else. The exit is the big one. The exit is the most important thing to know the location of. Wow, that guy does a lot of damage. Uh, the exit's gonna be one one of those itemless rooms. I just know it. Oh, or actually no. No, we're fine. Uh, I'm gonna use, I'm gonna hit him with, hit him with the uncertain ball right here. We'll save our Fire 2 ball for, like, when we really, really need it. When we need a ball that absolutely will not fail. Oh! Hello there. Oh, if we can get Mixture Magic on this guy. Okay, Repel Ball is garbage. I literally don't even know what it's good for. Like, it repels magic, but how many ma monsters in the tower really have... Oh, I did not think that would aggro him. Uh, okay, we're going to fireball on him. I haven't been really been paying attention to Kraken's HP. It looks like he's been healing up just fine between fights. Fireball, probably. Oh, shit. Um, how do we... Oh, we're lined up already. Okay, so that... F so fire, fire number two can fuck off. What about fire three? That water ball is pretty... In fact, that water ball is entirely useless, now that I think of it. I was I was thinking the water ball was the healing ball, but no, that's a different one. Uh, water ball just gives your... You can cast it on a familiar to give them protection against wind. Effectively turning its defensive type into water, which uh, our dude is water already, so that does nothing for us. You can name the egg before you hatch it. Interesting. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna hold on to this egg until we get a little bit deeper. The later you hatch it, the better, because it hatches at your level. So the higher level you are, the better. Garud is a pretty good guess. Manova, or actually, it, I think it, gen it gives you the Manovas on the lower floors where they first appear on. I don't think I've ever found a Manova on the higher floors. 
Honestly, I think Barong is a possibility here too. Garuda would actually be a really good find here because that would give us uh, something to use against water familiar uh, water monsters. Uh, we're gonna get away for now. Oof. Ah, oh, he's a wind type too. Oh, you know what? We can't do that or else the troll will get him. Does he even take any reflected damage when he only deals one? Honestly, even a Fire Familiar would be good right now just to deal with the pickets a little more easily. Oh, he's a crossbow troll. What are you doing? What am I doing? Oh, too much good stuff. How can we not make it to floor 40 at this point? Uh, I'm going to use the monster loop just because uh, it's probably the least valuable item we've got now. Oh, you know what? Yeah, that blue dot over there means that that is a Minova. Oh, blue sand. That's free. Ooh, that could be a restore scroll. It is not. Oh, you know what? I didn't even think of this. Oh, this is so cool how we're both uh, reflecty boys right now. It's cute. It's like we're we're a pair or something. It's like he's yeah, he's a uh, got that sparky counter attack and I've got my live shield. Uh, I think we're just going to go up. So we're going to be good against Wee Dog here, but not Arachne, but I don't think we have much of a choice anyways. You know, I think I'm just going to Oleem this guy. Honestly, the, ne the next set of floors are going to be really bad for us. Between Arachne, followed by Viper. Then I think we're into the snowman floors, so yeah. I think the good times are over. Yeah, this is the point where we really just want to dive as fast as possible. That did not last as long as I was hoping. Oh yeah, that's right. He does take a lot of reflected damage, though. Uh, 
How's he doing health-wise? Not great. He also, he's also ready for a PETA. Nothing but blue sand for days. You know, I, I, I so yesterday I was, uh, I GM'd my first uh, role-playing game. First ever. And yeah, as a little introductory scene, just to explain the rules of the game. Yeah, we, had, we I had a little, little story that had some blue sand involved in it. The blue sand was actually illegal drugs, but yeah, don't tell my players, they don't know that yet. Um, wow, all kinds of interesting stuff in this room here. Oh yeah, that's right, fireball number two is gone, uh, so, yeah. Goodbye, fireball number two, long live fireball number four. Waste my time, risk life and limb going for all these copper coins. Yeah, of course I am. Actually, I do want him going aggressive here. This will be good exercise for him. Also, I think pickets are actually worth some XP still. Also, he definitely needs a PETA now. I don't want him falling asleep in the middle of a fight. Oh no! Ah, uh, this sucks. I mean, we got our copper coins, so it's, it was all kind of worth it in the end. But, uh, yeah, we might have to pay dearly for those copper coins. I might just Oleem this guy. Kraken's not super healthy right now. Oh, actually he is, for some reason. Uh, let's just do... Let's do Olim. I want to save the Tumna for the upper floors. Because you still get experience for killing a monster who's been frogged. So that's better to use on the really high floors so you can just get tons of experience. Like frog a maximum. And get all of the XP. Uh, this is a terrible start. What on earth are they doing here? Honestly, this is, this is the one thing that kind of irks me about this game. The one really unfair thing that can happen pretty consistently is for you to just get dumped into a room full of terrible monsters on a new floor through no fault of your own. In fact, these next, this next set of floors is going to be terrible in general. I think I want to star glass this. I will go this way to get grab those items. Uh, water or wind again. Blue, blue. Man, we're just snorting blue sand all the way up here. What is this, like our fifth one now? It actually is, because yeah, we used one on our previous shield. So yeah, we have snorted five blue sands on this run. So yeah, I guess that's a good time for uh, Jasu here. <laughs> it's defenses. <laughs> Stats are just so worthless in this game. We got all the all these blue sands. We got among what's close to the best shield in the game, and we still get two shotted by pretty much everything. Uh, that sword is actually pretty good. 
Actually, Wind Sword gives us advantage against, uh, yeah, water monsters, so we actually have something to deal with pretty much every monster type. Not that I really want to be swing, Not that I want to be dueling water monsters, necessarily. But if it comes down to it, we have that option. But who wants to take bets now that that thing's going to be cursed, is the question. Ooh, I saw a spell ball up there. Huh. Yeah, let's do it like this. Don't you go for it. Kraken's a good boy. He wouldn't ditch me for a piece of meat over there. Looks like he might have. I don't know what would have happened there if the wee dog hadn't gone down. That's kind of a rare attack. I've almost never seen him do that. So what's probably going to end up happening here is we're just going to use up our Kraken until his MP's all gone. Then I'm going to hatch that next familiar. What the hell is going on here? I feel like Fireball number three is about to get used up real soon here. Fireballs are also uh, worth saving for the upper floors for the same reason. Doll. I, th I was kind of hoping that sword would be, would be cursed, uh, just for the fun of it. guy before they catch up to us. Good, good, good. Oh, give me my exit, goddammit. Hmm. I got anything to deal with this guy? I'll probably just frog him. So that just happened. Can we just fight this guy? With the elevation bonus? Let's see how this goes. If he hits too hard, I'll just frog him. Oh, wow. I, I didn't even get to see how hard he hits. We didn't, we didn't learn anything out of that fight. I don't think I want to try fight- okay, here we go. Yeah, I don't think I want to try fighting him without elevation, though. As I recall, these guys hit super hard. Yeah. Uh, where the hell- okay, we-, we... Oh, there's actually a couple forks we can take here. Uh, this guy ain't nothing. Hey, there it is. Ooh, more blue sand. I don't even have to look at it to know what it is. He, he, he can literally sniff this stuff out now.
Okay, I was gonna freak my... I was just, yeah, gonna freak my shit there for a second. Getting spawned into a room with two monsters. I've, you know, I don't think I've ever seen the two tiers of Palumpas next to each other like that. I didn't realize that the that the new ones were slightly off color. Does Kraken have an evolved form? I'm pretty sure he doesn't. Uh, we'll just hold on to that. This is an insanely solid run so far. I honestly don't see... I don't see a way how we fail to get to floor 40 the way things are going right now. Of course, that's the tricky thing. Ooh, it starts. I don't, I don't even know why I'm looking at shields at this point. There is no reason for us to ever pick up a new shield from here on in. Uh, since this is here, we might as well use it. on. I think we're on like 25 here. No, not even close. Gotta pick up the pace. So there's a crap ton of monsters over there, so let's not go over there right now. Oh, hey. Restore! Oh, shit. Uh, we got inventory space now, too. Uh, yeah, none of that, thank you. <laughs> Although I, <laughs> that's a nice touch with the sleeping monsters uh, blocking his way there. Was this guy wind or fire? I think he's wind. Yeah, we're gonna fireball this guy. I think it's... I think we're gonna call serious time here on this run. I think we could actually take this one all the way. So yeah, I am not gonna be going out of my way for copper coins anymore. Even for the lulls. Not gonna do it. It's time to think start to start thinking about ditching the poison ball. Or maybe the medicinal herb. Oh yeah, trap loop is obviously garbage. Okay, so we basically got enough fireballs going on right now to never have to worry about a wind monster ever again. Never mind. Okay, no evolve. Oops. The one... Okay, the one way this does go wrong... Oops. So if 
I fuck up my movement like an idiot like that is if uh, Kraken runs out of MP and if we don't get a good replacement familiar. Uh, that guy, I think, is also wind. Yeah, with that kind of damage, I'm thinking wind. Hey, just... Oh, actually, we can just hold on to that. Holy bell! Boo. Gonna avoid that guy for now. Yeah, just go around him. Man, is the exit gonna be in the last room that I check? Yep. Oh god, there's still more rooms. When I said the last room that I check, I meant this room, but there's actually more rooms for the exit to be. Or not be. If the exit's... Okay, there we go. There we go. Just in time. We were about to get surrounded by blocks there. Ah, uh, so this is... Man, look at all those coins, though. <laughs> Was like the room of greed right there. Just compels you to waste your time picking up coins. I think I'm the only Azure Dreams streamer I've seen who has that compulsion to pick up every freaking gold, silver, or even copper coin that they find in the course of a run. sure what to get rid of here. I could hatch the monster. Oh, you know what? Uh, yeah, it's the acid rain ball, because that one's been used already. Or actually, uh, let's try this. I've heard reports of two charge acid rain balls being a thing that happens sometimes, but I've never seen one. Yeah. This fireball's got to be pretty close to used up by now. Ooh, hitting some crowded rooms. Barong! Um, boy, do I wish that acid rain ball, uh, hadn't been used up already. Uh, so we got a golf wind sword. So that's a thing. Blee. Well, okay, we'll start with this. He'll help us out a little bit. Don't want to forget that. This will actually help us out very, very little, but it'll also free up inventory space. Actually, if you could just follow me over here and we can murder this uh, sleeping snowman over here. Actually, you work on the li on the living snowman. I'll work on the sleeping one. Good stuff. Oh, actually, no, I don't want you to kill that one. That guy... Oh, and we're in a room full of coins, too. I don't want you guys to kill the barong. But I don't think I have much of a choice right now. Fuck. Fuck. 
I don't think I actually get XP for the stuff that the salamander kills. <laughs> They're all wind types too. <laughs> this is the biggest one I've ever seen. <laughs> this is fucking incredible. <laughs> there, it's, and of course, yeah, the one that we see a million of is a wind type. That's gonna, uh... Ah, uh, can we do anything about this? Okay, Kraken just sits here to die, I think. Okay, let's see if Lavender's got anything for us. All right, what do we got? Oh, here we go. We got a Newell. Newell's gonna get us out of this. I shouldn't have done that. Why didn't I take Newell back to town? We're gonna have to warp out right here. I should have just taken the egg back. Fuck. Um... I mean, okay, I guess now we just put the notion to the test that I have enough fireballs here to deal to deal with an infinite number of uh, fire mo of uh, wind monsters so that's not a great start oh fuck I forgot they could do that um, I think we're done oh no good we're alive again okay uh, that was close Oh, this is such a fun room. I would love to stay and play with this a little bit more. But uh, I think we've got to uh, get the fuck out of here. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> interesting run to the... Interesting end to that run there. <laughs> easy come, easy go, I guess. <laughs> that was the most... Maybe the most insane thing that has ever happened to me in this game. <laughs> Oh, that was a good run. I enjoyed that. Well, we're getting some money out of this, at least. Yeah, we didn't even use up any of these balls here. We had so many resources left. I might have been able to power through that. The problem is, with, if it were any other monster other than Zoo, I could have powered through there, but with his paralysis attack, uh, we just couldn't. We were just not safe there. Oh, and wow, look at that. All those copper coins we picked up actually did pick up. What, didn't I have, like, 12,000 gold going into the tower there? We got 8,000... We got 800 gold in copper coins. See, every little bit helps. Monster Boy, I believe... I believe that had a release date. Uh, I think Monster Boy... What was it, Monster Boy World or something like that? It's supposed to be out in May, I believe. Could be wrong about that, but I vaguely recall... Uh, yeah, seeing a release date for that. What's with this? Is Nico not going to sit on my face in the morning anymore? Oh well. She's pretending to be all ladylike now. Uh, maybe I read it somewhere. So now we got a bunch of money again, and I'm not sure. We're, we're kind of running out of things to spend it on. Or I guess it's not that much. I'm not sure we can even afford anything really special with this. I think the casino costs a hundred thousand or something ridiculous like that. We'll probably have to go to the racetrack to get that. Oh yeah, by the way, yeah, we donated for the new temple last time. So this is what that looks like.
thank the... Is this supposed to be a staircase? You can run up this if you... Yeah, there's a balcony here and everything. That's just like a... It's like a friggin' exercise ramp up here. I don't think it would even be possible to climb a ramp like this. That's this steep in real life. Must be where it's, uh, yeah, Jasu here must be wearing cleats or something. I don't know if cleats actually help you grip on the, the ground indoor. Actually, if anything, I think they're actually more slippery when you wear them indoors. I don't know, it's been many, many years uh, since I played soccer. See, not I'm gonna... I thought he was supposed to suggest uh, building the casino after you build the temple. Maybe we need to do another to tower run first. Bonk. So maybe just to show it off one day, I should put in uh, my uh, my Japanese copy of Azure Dreams and uh, show it off on stream someday. The only real difference is voice acting, and the and you know you don't know what any what any of the items do because they're in Japanese. Uh, so is there anything else we need to do for Cheryl here? She should... I thought she was done, but, uh... She's been stuck in the hospital for, like, three tower runs. And she still hasn't fallen in love with us. Uh, that was a pretty quick one. I, yeah, I easily have time to do another tower run here. Oh yeah, I guess this is going to be a bit awkward right here, without the music. <laughs> I see Vivian moving up the line here. So I guess she's just one run away from uh, being finished. After this, she'll be in the front, and then, uh, yeah, she's basically got nowhere to go from there. I actually don't remember that game. The title certainly doesn't sound endearing. Animation, huh? And eavesdropping. <laughs> Those are her hobbies, huh? Animation and eavesdropping. <laughs> Jasu picks that one up too. Yeah, see, him and me are are the same page. On are on the same page here. I named him aptly.
Um, I don't think we have anyone new to look at at the swimming pool, so I guess we'll just do another tower run right here. Actually, let's go see if there's anything to build. Even the bowling alley, I think, costs 40000 Oh, we, didn't, we don't even have the suggestion for the bowling alley yet. Maybe it's the house upgrade that it's tied to. Looking at that egg platform puker game now. Yeah, I actually don't recognize this one. I don't know. There's so many games nowadays, I can't keep track of them all. But yeah, regardless, uh, yeah, it doesn't look very good to me. Oh, that was such a good run, too. It, it would have been... It would, would have done such a great... It, it would have been a great increase to our average success rate to get another floor 40 clear there if we'd have gone all the way. Ah, uh, well. As your dreams giveth and as your dreams taketh away. That is pretty much the exact perfect counterpoint to that kind of ridiculous luck we were getting on that run. It's just the game was just dumping all of the best stuff on us. All of the best spell balls. Just tons and tons of amazing items. And then just, okay, here's all of the monsters to use them on in one crowded ass little room. Go, or not even a little room, it was like a medium-sized room, just packed to the gills with monsters. Have at it. Oh, that was so fun. Anyways, uh, before we do the next run, I'm just gonna go on a quick refreshment break here. And uh, yeah, we'll be back in just a minute or two. If I can actually find... Uh... There we go. Oh yeah, Yono was a fun little game. I I wouldn't pay full price for it myself. It was a little game. I I, I got it for a dollar out of a hat. So uh, yeah. Anyways, uh, yeah, back in a little bit.
All right. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go see if we can find another one of them monster rooms. Oh, this is good music right here. I think I actually want to go back and uh, restart this track so I can hear it from the beginning. <laughs> I don't even know what this is. I think it's from one of my Toho jazz albums. Oh, hi there, noise. You know, I think that's the first time I've seen a monster sleeping on floor one. Yeah, have I ever actually seen a sleeping noise before? That's actually kind of adorable. He's got a squiggly tail. I never noticed that. Anyways, he's dead. Well, there he is. I think it's actually better to find a troll early on rather than other monsters. As long as you can get elevation, you just got, yeah, you get your fast level two, then you're safe. Also, since that's a dead end up there, we can be reasonably confident that uh, no monsters will come up behind us here. You know, you get level 3 so quickly, too. I think it might be worthwhile to just farm up to level 3 every time on floor 1. Actually, I think we want to go south first. Okay. Good. It's actually a good thing we went down there first. Otherwise, I would have gone all the way to the other end of the map and I'd have been like, oh yeah, there was that thing down south that we forgot to check out. And then I'd go all the way back there and there'd be nothing there. Actually, I think I want to... Whoops. Did he just forget to attack me there? It looks like he had an opportunity to attack me there and just didn't take it. Oh, this is just a dead end. Apparently I've just forgotten the layout of this floor completely. I don't remember this version of floor one at all. No! Well, that sucks. We need a new sword now. Which are normally not that hard to come by. Swords are some of the more common. Ooh, Mazar Seed. We'll use that in just a minute here. This stupid monster is preventing me from sprinting. Oh wow, it actually makes a big difference too. Yeah, I actually don't recognize the music here at all. I mean, other than being part of my usual jazz playlist. I don't know what game this comes from. What does it say? Oh yeah, some Toho game, apparently. Possibly one I haven't played. I'm actually behind on Toho games right now. The last one I played was... Uh, Double Dealing Character, I think. Which was, what, Toho 14? Holy shit, we got the green horde up in here. Not that it really matters. I could probably take on an infinite amount of Palumpas.
Have we actually found the exit yet? Oh yeah, that's right, it's over this way. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay, we sure took our time on that one. Well, okay, we're rusted, but we got a shield at least. Actually, so at copper minus one, that's one attack. I think we might be better off with the paralyzed wand. Attack one, attack two minus one. <laughs> All right, we're attack zero now. Awesome. We might have to use uh, runaway strats here. Can he be paralyzed, I wonder? Oh! Ha 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 ha! Can't touch me. Oh, there he goes. So this will be interesting. <laughs> On the one hand, our attack sucks forever. On the other hand, we can paralyze dudes sometimes. I've never really I've never really messed around with the paralyze wand that much. I mean, I've messed around with it enough to know that it sucks and it triggers not often enough to be worth the uh, drop in attack power. But yeah, this will be interesting. Okay, mediocre pickups this early. Oh yeah, I, I don't really care about uh, famous actors being in video games. It's just never made a big difference to me. Especially like Hollywood celebrity voice acting. I've found it to be generally kind of under par. They tend to phone in their performances. Trying to think of the game where that, what game made me come around to that impression, but I'm blanking on uh, what it was. Or I guess some grand strategy games have had, uh, the, the Civilization games have generally had a uh, some sort of famous Hollywood actor to do their voiceovers. And those have generally been pretty good. I think it was Letter Nimoy for Civ 4. And yeah, it, you know, it was fun hearing Leonard Nimoy read out quotes from like uh, Sun Tzu and Leviathan and all that kind of stuff. Oops. So let's count how many paralyzes we get out of all the times that we swing this stupid cursed paralyze wand. So far it's one. We have swung this thing probably a good 30 times by now. And we've gotten one Paralyze out of it. I thought the odds might have been something like 1 in 10, but it looks like it's even lower than that. Maybe it goes up if you use Mixture Magic. I don't know. really level gr grinding here. I'm just kind of uh, sticking around till I can catch enough of a breather to level up or to uh, get my health back up. And that pretty much takes away all the gains we made. 
Yeah, I should have just left as soon as I saw the cyclone. Good lord. We're actually taking damage faster than we can heal here. Fucking hell. Oh, there we go. That's two paralyzes. Yeah, I think the odds of getting a paralyze are about... I would estimate them at like 1 in 30. Actually, because of the way that uh, numbers worked back in these days, it's probably a power of 2. Probably like a 1 in... Like a 1 in 32. That would make sense. Copper sword. That would be an improvement if we could actually wear it. Actually, you know. Mm. I was gonna say, I was, I was actually thinking maybe I take that gulf uh, wand just in case we find a wind familiar. I think I'll just use that limit fruit on the next monster encounter we face. Damn it. I meant to go diagonal there to give myself uh, extra space to work with. Why? Okay, this will be fun. Hopefully we can get some of those crits to maybe kill this guy before the other one starts eating our asshole. No? Okay. Kill him! Okay. Have I not got a single crit since I ate that fruit? I'm oh, getting some dodges at least. That's actually even better. Okay, I think we just want to avoid Cyclones entirely at this point. Actually, no, I'm going to fight this guy with Elevation. I think we can do it. Oh, wow, I'm still limited. Still got the Anger. Hey, there's the crit. Gets me like four... Ec oh, no, it doubles, the it doubles your damage. And with that... I think there's nothing else to see here. Okay, let's see how long it takes to refill my health. Nope, oh, not that long, it turns out. Do I want to sit around and level up a bit? I don't think that I do. Okay, now I'm going to grab my tea. for it oh you know what I just realized uh, restream chat isn't working at all so if any if anyone's happened to have been uh, chatting at me on YouTube I would not have seen it uh, apologies for that um, we're gonna rectify that right away here uh, where's my web chat thing. Open it in browser. Uh, 
Okay, let's see if we can't get this working correctly. Um, yeah, looks like even the online client isn't working at all. Ah, uh, that sucks. Yeah, so apparently restream chat is just fucked right now. So, uh, yeah, apologies to YouTube. If you are saying anything to me right now, I will not be able to see it. That's a bad thing. I, I can fix that real quick here. It's really uncommon <laughs> that uh, I actually get any viewers on uh, the YouTube stream, but it does happen from time to time, which is why I think it's worthwhile to do the whole uh, multi-streaming thing. God, the YouTube uh, streaming dashboard is just a mess. I can't believe that anyone actually uses this garbage. Doesn't even have a pop-out chat. Fuck me. Can I move it or something? There we go, pop-out chat. It was on a different menu there. Good stuff. I just wasted everyone on Twitch's time to accommodate a bunch of people who probably don't exist. Apologies again to uh, the YouTube viewers out there who actually do exist. Whether you exist or not, I am grateful for your patronage. Well, that was lucky. I just realized that I don't want to. I don't want to be fighting balloons this early on. So, uh, yeah, we'll see how this goes. So this guy's missed me like three times and I'm still half dead after that fight. Good grief. Do I have anything for this guy? Could just use the medicinal herb. I think that might be what I do. Oops. Man, I'm just like dodging all of the hits today. Mm. This is too many monsters. I think we have to run away here. It's really not good to just skip a floor this early on. You end up kind of underleveled. Man, I didn't even know that Let's Play existed over... Oh, why did I... I thought that guy was asleep. Ugh. No, everything is terrible. Actually, now that I think of it, didn't the old uh, Doc Future Sonic 1 Easy Mode Let's Play used to be on only on Daily Motion? Oh, I guess I could have taken one more hit there. It used to be that the, the thing with daily motion is that, is that it was sort of, uh... Oh yeah, we're getting to the point in the tower where my, where my lack of damage is actually killing me, basically. Yeah, I'm basically never going to be able to fight another monster ever again. At least until, at least until I can get this uh, curse taken care of. Uh, that guy, I can't tell what, looks like he's going the other way, so we're gonna follow him. Might end up, I think we just have to dive at this point. I've got, yeah, nothing going for me. We got the worst shield. We got the worst wand. 
Getting a lot of dodges, though. That's been fun. God, how many how many hits have I dodged so far on this playthrough? Probably like 20. Goodbye, shitty floor. I'll probably be seeing you again right away because I don't think this run is going to last much longer. Do I even bother exploring this floor? We're so far behind, I can't deal with any monsters at all. Oh, and there's a U-boat. Let's just dive. I'm just going to port out as soon as... Hey, this could be a lucky break. <laughs> nope. Copper coins and two U-boats. Not a lucky break at all. Well, I think that's GG. We have no way to get past this guy. Ah, that's not entirely true. Uh, we've got to use up some... Other, some resources that would be otherwise... Really good to have. But, yeah, we can do this. In fact... Nah, we'll do it like this. Because, yeah, the problem with the holy symbol against U-boats... ...is that the U-boats will just, uh, sink down into the ground until the... ...until the holy symbol wears off. Oh, we're seeing all these items, and it's no none of them are anything good. This guy's actually going to kick my ass, isn't he? He's going to do, like, six damage. Oh, no, he's just going to waste his time trying to hypnotize me. Oh, there he goes, and he actually does do six damage. Yeah, this is pathetic. <laughs> I can't actually take on a Dreamin' right here. There we go. That's what we were looking for. I guess, yeah, that's the benefit to having a Cursed Paralyzed Wand. You do no damage and it takes 50 hits to kill any enemy. But on the plus side, 50 hits is about what it takes for you to actually proc the Paralyze, so it kind of works out. This is ridiculous. <laughs> we got Pim Paralyzed twice, so that must have taken 100 hits right here, that whole, that whole fight. Yeah, I think that took about a hundred rounds. Actually, we, uh, this is a little puzzle solving thing right here. There, yeah, we can do it like that to reverse positions and switch it on them. Oops. Ooh, we're in a bit of trouble now. No, we're not. Man, every time I get excited, it's like, oh, a room, uh, an item in our starting room. Maybe it'll be the thing that saves the day here. Every single time. Copper coins. Fuck. Okay, hopefully he woke up and started walking in the other direction. Um, I am not into Dragon Quest games at all. In fact, they're a little bit too traditional JRPG-ish for my liking. Oh, right. Um, I think we're fucked. Actually, that actually kind of helped us, because uh, we've got some distance on him. Don't think he'll be able to see us anymore. Oh, and he's going to murder his buddy. Oop. I think we got a medicinal orb. Nope. And we don't have the... Uh, Uh, yeah, we don't have a Wind Crystal either, so I think this is it. Maybe this will give us enough health to survive this? No? Well, actually, with that, that, that miss actually saves us. For a few steps. Is this guy gonna miss us? Do we have anything to deal with him? We kinda do.
Oops. <laughs> I, I thought he was one space away there. <laughs> hey there, Shifty Sauce. Thanks for stopping by. You came in, yeah, just in time to see the most fun and skillful part of the stream anyways. Actually, if you've got a moment, you should check out my previous run on the VOD when you've got time. Just the, w just the very end of it, the way the last run before this one ended uh, was a really, really good time. <laughs> No, oh, she's just kind of boring if you don't tell her to put you to sleep. Um, I don't think there's even any point to, uh, to save the game here. Yeah, we gained nothing off that last run. Or I guess we gained another town roundabout to uh, advance all the women's subplots. Oh, the ending was spectacular. <laughs> but anyways, yeah. Uh, you have a good night, too. Oh, it looks like Cheryl's out of the hospital. Oh, she's standing. But her neck is all fucked up. <laughs> Not to mention her eyes. I, I guess the, the, the eyes is just kind of the style of this artist, I guess. With the massive... I don't know the parts of the eyeball, but you know, like the ball of the eyeball. The colored circles are just huge. They got these massive bug eyes. But I think Cheryl has it worse than everyone else. I don't, I actually, I don't know what happens if you tell her it doesn't suit her. Maybe she becomes a nurse anyways. Oh wow, that was fast. <laughs> You would have thought there would be, like, a, uh, some kind of training course or schooling she would have to go through. Nope, she just, she just graduated in that short time that it took her to walk over to the hospital. She's been having male patients during during those two seconds. Uh, well, well, that uh, after she walked over here, stumbling over my words tonight. Take our eye off her for yeah two seconds, and she's like flirting with all the male patients. See, I told you guys she was the worst girl. I know what this is now. This is from uh, Majora's Mask. One of the one of the ocarina songs in that game. There she is. Made it to the front of the line. I think this means we're done with her now. I should probably play Majora's Mask on stream sometime.
Yeah, my, my take on Majora's Mask is that it's it's the best Zelda for certain specific definitions of best. <laughs> if you're talking first playthrough, uh, Majora's Mask is phenomenal. I, I enjoyed my first playthrough of Majora's Mask more than... Yeah, that face means that she's ours now. Enjoyed my first playthrough of Majora's Mask more than just about any other game I've played. It's just re really magical. Uh, do seeing all the si the and the townsperson subplots, figure putting it all together, figuring everything out, trying to make the happy endings for everyone. And then you go through it a second time, and it's like, oh, I kind of saw this already, and it's kind of not so interesting now that I... It's like, you know, how after you've solved the puzzles in a puzzle game, there's not really any game left. It's like the fun of it was figuring everything out, so you're kind of left with not much left to chew on after you've uh, already experienced it the first time. Okay, so you gotta take you gotta give her the right answer to call her to get her to call you a prince on a white horse. Uh, yeah, we didn't get any money after that last run either. But yeah, the reason I think it might be time to replay Majora's Mask is it's been so many years. Uh, since the last time I played it, I think I've forgotten pretty much, yeah, everything that you need to do to in, in that game to get 100%. So I'd pretty much have to resolve the thing uh, in order to, yeah, get the full 100% clear. There he goes. Oh, you know what? I built the bowling alley. I forgot about that. Uh, we can go check that out now. I think. I thought I built the bowling alley. If I didn't, then I have no idea how to unlock the bowling alley. Oh, this is it right here. There we go. Nah, I can figure it out on my own. I have not messed... Okay. <laughs> um, I actually forget how this works, but we'll, we'll figure it out. Okay. Oh, I see. So it's like our power level. Oh no, that's the curve. Okay. I don't think we want to curve it. Oh, come on. You can't throw a ball in a straight line. Snake pass? I can't remember what that is. Uh, so I think we'll throw this straight ahead, but I guess we'll curve it to the right. Oh, so close. I don't think there's any benefit to playing this game, incidentally. There's no cost to play and no reward. It is just for fun. For certain definitions of fun. Or is that that one, it's like a puzzle game, where you've got to maneuver this blocky snake around? No, that's, what am I thinking of? Snake bird is the one I'm thinking of. Whoops, can I redo that? Shoot. Gutter ball. Ooh! Ow! Just a little bit more spin on it and we would have had it. It's kind of annoying how you have to wait a long time for it to uh, spin in the opposite direction. Ooh, way less spin there.
So this one we just want to go straight up the middle. Mm. Tiny bit of spin. Way too much spin. How the hell do you do this? It's like you need to like shoot it straight and then like mind control it to uh, go in the other direction. Go straight and curve it just a little bit. Oh. No, I think I'm done with bowling forever now. What did he just say to me? Oh. So yeah, this is just a pointless little mini game that they threw in here for no reason. I appreciate it. I mean, I don't really. It's kind of who would uh, like who would waste their time with it. But you know, I appreciate that they took the effort, that they tried. Oh yeah, incidentally... Oh, no, I don't want that. That's against the rules. But the one other benefit you get from the bowling alley... Oh, am I wrong about that? Yeah, you get some of the monsters filled in in your monster book. And yeah, these guys here are the pins. Yeah, all of the higher numbered monsters are uh, random things in the buildings in town. The casino has a bunch of them too. Uh, Two Points Hospital? No, I don't. That's the first I've heard of it. Oh, there she is. Vivian on the save screen. You know, we've unlocked the portraits here pretty much in order for once. I think Patty was actually the first one this time, but other than that... I'm going to double check the price on the casino, but I'm pretty sure it's uh, 1,000. 1,000, that would be nice. Uh, 100,000. Yep. 